DJ Wake, I'm sitting here with Swift. So what's going on, man? Man, chilling, man. Just tore down the stage out here in Richmond, man. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get a little love. So how you feel about my city, DJ? Man, I'm loving it so far, man. I'm only in town for a night, but we're going to go out to the club. We're going to like, uh, plush. Plush? Oh, plush. We're going to check out plush, man. You know, we just had a good little food spot we checked out, so I'm loving it so far. So where you get food from? Secret Society, which is a little sandwich spot. Oh, uh, yeah, it's like uh, down the right street. Right in the street, yeah. I ain't been there before. But that shit was good, man. It was real good. So, uh, when I had came to Atlanta, I was going to Lennox and uh, Shawty, she was driving like an orange BMW. Okay. Like the uh, Grand Coupe joint. Yeah, a nice little something. Oh, that was, that was me. Like, I was like in my Honda. Oh. And she was beside me. <laughs> okay. And I was going to pull up. Okay. I had stuff. I hate you. But I had that stuff. <laughs> so, I had listened to the lyrics, and I'm like, what is this? So I Googled the channel, watched the video and everything. I was like, this shit kinda hard. So like, what made you come up with this song? Um, just working, man. Honestly, man, uh, the song was really about like a, a time in my life when I was staying in Durham, where I'm from. You know, I used to stay at this crib, man. It should be like eight of my friends staying in this crib. We used to throw wild parties and all that shit. So that was just about one of the days we had a party. You know what I'm saying? Telling people to pull up to the crib. It was a big fight and all this crazy shit, bro. It was really no different than all the song. You know what I'm saying? Just working and grinding, and actually making some time to make the music. You yeah. know what I mean? And that's what happened. It came out that way. So how long have you been? Uh, I've been doing this since I was 12, you know what I mean, but officially in the game, I'll probably say since about 2011, maybe, in 2012, I signed with Akon, and, and then I signed with Def Jam after that, so yeah, 2009, 2012. So Akon discovered you? Um, he not necessarily discovered me, but um, my song was being played in the club by a popular DJ who's actually from VA, shout out to, and rest in peace to DJ Nando. You know what I'm saying? He's actually from VA, but um, he was playing my music in the club one day, man, and then Akon was in there like, yo, what the fuck is that? Who is this? Yeah. And I was in the club, he's like, it's him. You know what I'm saying? So that's actually how I got, you know, signed with Akon. But after that, you know, I just did a lot of work, man, and then I wound up signing the Def Jam and that kind of shit, you know, so. All right, so like, like, when I hear it I just want to hear, like, smoke records, like, right. like club records like that. So right. you know, you want your bag? Most definitely, man. I got a mixtape coming out this summer. Also, an EP coming out this summer. The mixtape's called For What It's Worth. Yeah. And uh, the EP's called Crown, so we look out for that real soon. Now, why decided to do those songs? Uh, I just felt like it was a good representation of the music and, and just where I'm at in my mental space right now. Um, you know, For What It's Worth is, is really me just sitting back and kind of enjoying the things that I'm doing right now. You know, really just taking it off for what it's worth, the good, the bad, you know, and everything in between. Yeah. And uh, Crown, which is actually my EP, you know, that's kind of self-explanatory, you know, but it got a little twist to it as well, like, um, you know, obviously I'm coming for the crown, I want to be the best at what I'm doing, you know what I mean, but it's also, uh, you know, I made the whole damn CD off of drinking crown, crown apple, and fucking crown vanilla, so, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, yeah, so, that's what that is, man. Alright, so, what would be your outfit, your car, that you going to do when you pull up to the club, and you try to hop out and stuff? <laughs> I'm wearing all white something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All white some with some diamonds. And I'ma hop out of the the uh I'm, I'm gonna hop out the white G Wagon with it, man. The white G Wagon. Now what what if it's after Labor Day? You can't wear white. Every day is after Labor Day. I never understood that, because I'm like, how do you what day is what day is after Labor Day? Alright, well right, after <laughs> Labor Day, so from Labor Day to end of the year, you can't wear white so Hey man. Day. Don't let them tell you that rule, man. It's bullshit. Whoever made up that rule, that was a dumbass rule. We wearing all white whenever we want to, man. Respect. <laughs> it's a respect, respect. <laughs> we wear all white. Yeah, yeah, man. We do video shoes. We do, you know, performances and all that stuff. Sometimes that all white man is just so clean and make you stand out so good, man. So I like the all white look. So let them know where they can follow you and find out your music. You can follow me at. At Swift, that's W I F T, and that's on IG. I really don't be on Twitter and Snapchat too much, so get at me on the IG. But uh, my music's gonna be everywhere, man. You know what I'm saying? It's on all the social platforms right now SoundCloud, YouTube, uh, iTunes, you know, everything. So y'all check me out, man. Your boy Swift.